See if we can skip with this eyes, eh? Yes. They hurt quite a bit. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Alright, so today's video is on iron chelate. Chelate? This stuff. Chelate? Chelate? Chelate Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up, wait. Iron chelate. I'm not sure I understand. Chelate. Who? Me? What? Chelate. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, hold up. Chelate. 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 Iron chelate? Anyway, that's the stuff there, so iron. So it's a micronutrient, um, not a macronutrient. So your, mac your macronutrients, remember, are nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. So this is a macronutrient. So this basically greens up your leaf or your grass blade a little bit more than um, actual nitrogen does. It actually makes it more of a dark, dark blue sort of a color, more than your lime green when you hit it with nitrogen. This is a really good way to make your lawn stand out in your neighborhood, and it's just a good way to kick up your iron deficiency if you're fine you're getting a couple of yellow tips on your lawn as well and it's not fungus related so I've got a few yellow tips on my lawn from winter so I'm gonna chuck this stuff out just to get rid of that problem and just to make it look really nice and dark green now you find a lot of iron in your granular products anyway like your synthetic fertilizers and your organic fertilizers in granular form they're taken up through the roots whereas this liquid stuff is actually a foliar spray and it's taken up by the leaf itself so it's actually quicker acting it'll be within one to two days you'll see a difference in your lawn whereas with your fertilizers with synthetics and your organics that go through the soil it can take oh, up to a week it really just depends on what fertilizer you're using so that's why I'm using this stuff really actually keen to see the results and I'll show you guys the results after two or three days as well with this stuff as well it only lasts about seven days the actual color in the leaf but I mean, if, you, if you're bringing back some yellow leaves, it will actually bring that colour back just to normal colour. So yet again, there's no instructions on here really on how much to put out per 100 square metres. It gives us how much you put out per 15 metres squared. So let's just figure out how that works, eh? Math time! Righty. Now, iron gelati. So, what are we doing? 15 metres squared, 1 litre. So it says here, 20 millilitres in 1 litre of water. 20 mil in one liter of water. It's how much of the chemical, so it's how much iron, iron, then you put it here. So from here, I know that it takes 60 liters to get over my whole backyard. And I did a video on this previously, how to fertilize your lawn with a liquid sprayer. I'll link that in the description below. I'll put a little card just up here as well. So 60 liters get across my whole backyard. So basically, I know I've got 400 meters squared of backyard, and we're trying to find out how many times 15 fits into that. 400 divided by 15 equals 26.66667. Right, so we'll just go 27. So that's how many times I'm gonna have to do it. So then we go 20 times 27. So that's our 20 mil. It's actually gonna go 0 0.02 times 27, 0.02 times 27 equals 500, so 0.54, which is gonna be 540 mils. So this little sucker here has 500 mil. So when I said earlier I had 400 meters squared, I actually have about 350. I always just round up a little bit. It's more like 360, 370. I always like to round up, cause I just like to do that sort of stuff. So technically this is pretty much bang on, on how much I need for my whole area. So if we just want to double check, we want to find out per 100 meters squared. So we're going to go 540 divided by four. So that's the application rate per 100 meters squared. So it's 135 mil per 100 meters squared. So that's how we figured out how much we need to put down. Now this stuff will stain your sidewalks and fences and etc. etc. So make sure you do try and avoid those areas as well. Since it is a liquid spray, it's pretty easy to avoid those areas. But also make sure when you're mixing it up, mix it up on some plastic or an area that you're not really worried about getting stained or somewhere that is not the lawn. Because you never want to mix chemicals on your lawn anyway because you risk burning things and just 
it's just not good for me. It's just not great. So with this product, you also don't want to water it in. You want to leave it on the leaf and let it dry out. And it says on here it is rain fast in two to three hours. I'd give it a day though, then water your lawn after that. Leave it on the leaf, make sure all the leaf takes it up properly. When I say leaf, I mean grass blade. <clears throat> and just allow it to really work. It's magic. I'll just read a couple of instructions to you. Blah, 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 blah. Apply when symptoms appear of yellowing or iron deficiency. So if you're starting to get some yellowing off in your leaves, and reapply as necessary. So you can reapply that, I don't know, once a month if you want to, if you want to get really excited, but I'm just doing it today to help it get out of its winter dormancy, because <clears throat> we've got quite a lot of frosts in winter and I went quite yellow. So I'm just bringing some color back into it. But this stuff really helps with chlorophyll, just helps that real nice greeny color come in, because you know when you cut your grass and you get that dirty stain on your, on your shoes and stuff, like that. That's actually chlorophyll, which is inside the leaf. So let's use this stuff to green up your lawn. Oh yeah, just quick push it down. Yes. I'm expecting to see some results in the next two to three days. I'll put them up at the end of this video just so you can see the difference between them. But yeah, expect a couple of days and it should only last for about seven days as well. It doesn't really last that long. But it's just a good way to get up that iron deficiency in your lawn. I've had a few people saying things like, oh, your lawn looks so nasty. Why has it got all that yellow stuff on it? Blee, 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 blee. Well, let me just show you what time of year it is here and what the other lawns look like on our street. Angry, I'm so angry. Not really. Next door neighbor. Mmm, nice. That is my long horn. I reckon I could sleep in that. Oh, it's wet. Ugh. So these guys normally have a pretty good lawn. Just haven't been watering it much lately. That's Torfescu as well, so the same as my lawn. These guys are cutting this way too short for Torfescu. Plus not watering it, so that's why this one's struggling a bit. And then the rest of the lawn's on the street. So I'm pretty happy with my lawn at the moment. It's not looking too bad just coming out of winter. And it's only gonna get better. Right, so this is just the front yard before I sprayed. And this is the backyard before I sprayed. Righty, so it's been about two days since I applied the iron, so let's just have a look at the backyard first. Yeah, boy. And that will probably even green up just a little bit more as well. Let's go look at the front. Alrighty, and here's the front yard. And it's also green up quite a bit. Now, it will green up a little bit more over the next couple of days, but that just gives an example of how green it can get. Cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like my videos. Chuck a like in there if you enjoyed that, and you have a good week.